Welcome to Miss Cass Munchies, the very special Thanksgiving episode. So, Thanksgiving's coming up, you get invited to these parties and people tell you, hey, uh, bring that special potato salad that you do or bring that, that mashed potato that you do. You know what, fuck it. Fuck you, I'm not bringing any sides. I am making something special. I am making an appetizer because, you know, everybody like sits around the table and um, they're like, hey, when's the, the fucking food gonna be ready? And everybody makes all this like yummy stuff for, for, for Thanksgiving dinner. They make like the sides or they make like potatoes or they make like, uh, you know, like that, that green bean stuff that like everybody like pretends to like, but nobody really likes. Um, and everybody's starving watching the football game. So I am doing an appetizer for all the hungry dudes out there watching the football game, ready for dinner. I'm making Thanksgiving nachos. So here we go. First thing you wanna do is get yourself a skillet. Um, this skillet I actually got from a uh, thrift store. It was all like rusty. It looked like somebody had like cooked a steak in it and, and then just kind of threw it away because they didn't give a shit. So I took it home, it was all rusty. And I spent a couple weeks like scrubbing it and cleaning it and adding oil and putting it in the oven and, and just getting it all like nice and seasoned. Yeah, so this is my skillet. And then uh, get yourself some chips, some nice uh, ordinary chips. Sometimes when you get chips in a bag, they're all like busted and broken, like uh, these little fuckers here. But get yourself some nice proper chips. And then what you want to do is start layering. A lot of people, when they make nachos, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They end up putting like, you know, nachos. They, they put like a stack of nachos and then they put like all the like the stuff on top. And what ends up happening is, you know, some scumbag is gonna go and get like the top nacho with all the yummy shit on it. And they, they just leave you with a bunch of like, just like, like useless, like garbage at the bottom. So the trick to making good nachos is you have to layer it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna layer these nachos. So we're gonna set a nice space here of like some cool nachos and I'm, I'm picking these selectively. You know, only the finest nachos are gonna go into this recipe. All the other ones are just gonna go fuck off. Okay, here we go. And then the next thing you wanna do is add some cheese. So we're gonna use two types of cheese here. We're gonna use Fontina cheese and we're gonna use Brie. And you wanna just shred this fresh. You don't wanna use like pre-shredded cheese. It's disgusting, it doesn't taste like anything. And if you're gonna spend the time to make something really cool, like, you know, just use proper ingredients and do, you know, do things right. You know, don't be a lazy bastard. Okay, so we're gonna do first cheese. Then we're gonna do this squash that I roasted. Now the recipe for this squash is gonna be on our website. It's MissCastEntertainment.com. Uh, the whole recipe for everything that you see here is gonna be on the website, including uh, this delicious squash. So I roasted the squash, and I'm just gonna gradually kind of just kind of place it on there. Make sure you, you spread it out nice and nice and evenly so, so there's a little bit of squash in every bite. And then we're gonna put some bacon, like that. And then we're gonna put some cranberries. Now cranberries are awesome because cranberries are to me very like um, Thanksgiving-y. That that's a word, I don't know. Anyway, it's fucking got cranberries, it's fucking interesting. And then we're gonna cut some brie. So you get a knife. Here William, why don't you come closer? Let's, let's show the kids how we cut the brie. So here you get a knife and you, like, you, you get the knife and you cut through the cheese. You see, you see? And then here's a pro tip. You cut the cheese in half, right? Like that. And then you flip over that cheese and you make a little stack and look, Check it out, fucking cubes, look at this. It almost looks like a machine did this, but it wasn't a machine, it was me. I did this, look at this. So then you just kind of like add the fucking cubes like this, right? Just like, again, nice, nice and even. Uh, there's no science to it. And then, fresh thyme. Fresh thyme is also something else that to me like just screams out Thanksgiving. And then when people take a bite of this, they're gonna be like, oh my God, JJ. This is delicious, what you put in this? Like, I, I taste something weird in it, but what is it? And uh, it's, you could tell them if you want to. I, I just don't tell them. I just say, oh, something. I'm gonna be like, did you put fucking time in this shit, yo? Maybe, I'll say maybe. Then in your business, go fuck yourself. Okay, so that's one layer right there. So now we're gonna add another layer. Okay, you get it? It's the same thing. We're just gonna do this about maybe three or four times. Times? My God, wow. 
Oh, look at the. We can't use this. Look at this garbage. Dude, it's hard to. Dude, what the hell's wrong with these guys? Did somebody sit on this bag? Again, same deal. You, you get the point. We're gonna put cheese. Then we're gonna put the fucking uh, squash. Then we're gonna put more bacon. And then we're gonna put more cranberries. So if you guys wanna fast forward this, or maybe uh, William could just kind of like edit all this stuff out because it's just kind of repetitive. Oh, here's a good one. Look at that guy. Look at that one. Look at this one, William. Look at that one. Jesus Christ. Look at this guy. Look at this one. Look at this. Okay. So this is going to be our, our top layer. The top layer, <clears throat> I'm very considerate about what that looks like because that's going to be your presentation layer. So that one gets a lot of cheese. Okay. And it's going to get like a nice selection of squash. And uh, I'm going to put the, the bacon and the cranberries are going to be last because those is what gives it the color, if you know what I mean. Okay. And then we're going to do some bacon. Ooh, yeah, let's just use all that bacon. No piggy goes to waste here. This cast entertainment respects the lives of all the little piggies that gave themselves up just so we can entertain you guys out there in the internet land. You guys are probably like watching this in your underwear, I imagine, like on your computer. Or maybe like, um, I know a lot of our fans, they, they, watch, they watch our shows while they're taking a doo-doo on the toilet on their cell phones. And that's, that's fine. You watch the show however you feel more comfortable, you know. And uh, yeah, it's good enough. Just make it, make it look nice and pretty. And then uh, a little bit of brie. And again, you want to space this out because this is going to be your top layer. And when this brie melts, oh man, it's beautiful. It gets all gooey and it kind of expands. So we got to make sure that it gets, gets everywhere. Yeah. And then what I, what I generally do is I'm not going to put thyme on the top layer. I'm going to push some fresh thyme when this comes out. So that way it stays green, it stays vibrant. That's another pro tip for you guys. All right, so listen, let's grab this bad boy right here and let's stick them in the oven. 350 for about 10 minutes or until it gets nice and gooey. I'll be right back. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, look at these fucking nachos. All right, let's go take them to the table. Fuck, dude, this isn't working. My hand is literally on fire. Okay, that's what it should look like. So then we get a little bit of time, nice fresh time, and we put it on top. Boom, boom, boom! Look at that. Look at that time. Look at that time. Nice and fresh. Oh, you can hear it sizzle. And come here, look, William. Look at this. Look at that little burnt. That's gonna be delicious. That's a good bite right there. That's a good bite. All right, guys. So this is our uh, Thanksgiving nachos. I think the homies at the crib are gonna be very happy when they get this. And uh, let's, let's, get, let's give it a try here. Fuck, this is hot. I think I'm gonna burn myself, but... I just blew the time all over. I <laughs> blew the time. Anyway, check it out. Ah. Oh, wow. It's so hot. I can't even talk. It's so delicious and crunchy. And Greg, you're gonna like this. No, don't, there, don't, don't, don't come into the camera, okay? I'm trying to, like I'm trying to appetize people, okay? Don't, yeah, don't come into the camera. No, come on, man. <laughs> don't ruin the show. Right. Anyway. Even though the up, I mean, what do you want? Later, after I leave. <laughs> so guys, um, that's all I gotta say. Looks like this. Every bite is gonna be delicious. It's just layered upon layers and upon layers of these hints of um, Thanksgiving. You got, the, you got the squash, you got the bacon, you got the cranberries and the cheese. It's gonna make the whole house smell like, like yummy stuff. People are gonna be super jealous of you. And if you got like a lot of dudes in the house or ladies, you know, just make a bigger ass skillet. Fill it up, whatever you got. And um, cheers. 
Mmm. How about this one? Look at that guy. Look at that one. Look at that cheese dripping on that guy. Look at that. Look at that. Mm mm mm. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Mm. Love you guys. Have a great Thanksgiving. And um, be kind to one another. Welcome to Miss Cass Munchies special Thanksgiving episode. We are going to make cranberry margaritas. A lot of you guys have had margaritas. Uh, generally you have them at like Chili's or something like after work. Uh, and generally the margaritas that you have places at, at places are, are just like a piece of crap because they use like that nasty pre-made margarita mix. Uh, tequila by itself, if you use like a, a good tequila, this is a Patron Silver here. It's 100% agave. If you use the cheap stuff, or if you use like cheap mixes, you're gonna get sick. You're, get, you're gonna get a headache. Um, so just use the good stuff, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to make uh, this margarita right here. So what you want to do is you wanna you wanna open it up. It's like a fucking booger. And then you put it here. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, let's chop up a lime. We're gonna need a lime for two things. First, we're gonna need a piece of lime to garnish, and then we're gonna need another piece of lime to give us the lime juice for the drink. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, cut off uh, the culos here. Uh, culo is a Mexican word, it means butt. Okay, so you got these. These are gonna be very helpful. So don't throw them away, save them. And then what we do is we're gonna cut uh, this lime in half like that, and then one half we're gonna cut like this, right down the center. And then we cut that in the center. And then we're gonna cut that in the center. This knife is actually not that sharp. I'm gonna go get another knife. All right, so now we got a better knife here. Oh, hell yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so this is gonna be our garnish. It's gonna kinda like go like that whenever we're done, okay? And then this, we're gonna use for the juice. So set that aside. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little culo here and we're just gonna like rub it on one side one half and then I got some Himalayan sea salt as you can see I'm just gonna rub it right in there get get, in, get that in there get that get, get fucking on there see so you get that nice little like uh, Himalayan sea salt and it's kind of nice and pink and pretty and crunchy and I think it's gonna be pretty cool when when you take a drink of this and you feel that like that crunchy stuff going down there uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, ice Let's get uh, two ounces of tequila. Oh yeah, right there. All right, two ounces of that. And then we're gonna do about um, almost an ounce of simple syrup. About there. And then we're gonna do about almost an ounce of uh, lemon juice, sorry, lime juice. I'm confusing. Yellow, green. Oh shit, I'm squirting everywhere. Ah, nice! That's what she said. It's a kitchen show for God's sakes, guys. And uh, you also need a little bit of triple sec. How much? About almost an ounce. And then you get some uh, some fresh, uh, ooh fuck, some fresh cranberry juice. Boom, like that. And then uh, you just kind of garnish it like that. See? So that's your drink. So, uh, you know, when everybody's watching the football game or, or you're trying to get hammered <clears throat> because you can't stand your family or whatever, um, this is just fucking just knock some of these down and and just kind of just hope for the best and wait for wait for the darkness to begin. So anyways, that was our episode, guys. Um, keep tuning in uh, for our next uh, miscast munchies. Uh, we're probably going to do another one soon, maybe for Christmas. Uh, in the meantime, have a great Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed our recipes. Make sure to watch our other videos. We just did a great review for uh, Overlord, which had uh, zombies in it. Nice. We'll figure it out, uh, but uh, yes, uh, have fun and, and drive safe.
I should have uh, preheated the oven, by the way. Totally fucked up. I need interns for this shit, god damn it. <laughs> fuck it. Hey, put the ca put, put, sit on his ass right there. He could have been turning on the fucking oven. Jesus Christ. All he does is shit on the show and doesn't contribute anything. To support my friend here, he told me, hey, sit there, stay out of the way, you know? I, I'm looking for these nachos because they sound fucking delicious. Who says you're getting nachos? After you, you shit. Did. You did After. yesterday. You said I'm leaving you guys with fucking food. I did say that. Yeah, son of a bitch. I did well, say that. You might not want to eat it after he shoves it in that big old fucking face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> JJ's getting a tester. 